Hi, I'm Dr. Beverly Swanson Powell. I ran across something that hit my spirit so richly, so deeply, as I was reading and studying the Word, and it was so uplifting and encouraging, and profound that I wanted to share it with you. So I stopped. And gathered things, so I can share this magnificent word of God with you. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Himself that it will encourage you just as much as it has encouraged me. I'm reading Psalms, Psalm 33. It's a song of praise. By of course our King David. I'm reading it to you though, out of the Passion Translation. Sit back, relax, close your eyes, and absorb the magnificent word of our great King, the magnificent word of our Lord and Savior. For the word is God. Psalm thirty-three is a song of praise, starting with verse one, and I'll read all the way through. It's time to sing and shout for joy. Go ahead, all you redeemed ones, do it. Praise him with all you have, for praise looks lovely on the lips of God's devoted lovers. Play the guitar as you lift your praises, loaded with thanksgiving. Sing and make joyous music with all you've got inside. Compose new melodies that release new praises to the Lord. Play His praises on instruments with the anointing and skill He gives you. Sing and shout with passion. Make a spectacular sound of joy, for God's word is something to sing about. He is true to his promises. His word can be trusted, and everything he does is reliable and right. The Lord loves seeing justice on the earth. Anywhere and everywhere, you can find his faithful, unfailing love. In verse six, he says, "All he had to do was speak by his spirit wind command, and God created the heavenlies, filled with galaxies and stars, the vast cosmos he wonderfully made." His voice scooped out the seas, and the ocean depths. He poured into vast reservoirs with breathtaking wonder. Let everyone worship Yahweh, this all-inspiring Creator. He breathed words, and worlds were birthed. Let there be, and there it was. Springing forth the moment he spoke, no sooner said than done. In verse ten, it says, "With his breath, he scatters the schemes of nations who oppose him. They will never succeed. His destiny plan for the earth stands sure. His forever plan remains in place." And will never fail. Blessed and prosperous is that nation who has God as their Lord, and they will be the people He has chosen for His own. In verse thirteen, it says, "The Lord looks over us from where He rules in heaven, gazing into every heart." From his lofty dwelling place, he observes all the peoples of the earth, and the Creator of our hearts 
considers and examines everything we do. Even if a king had the best equipped army, it would never be enough to save him. Even if the best warrior went to battle, he could not be saved simply by his strength alone. Human strength and the weapons of man are false hopes for victory. They may seem mighty, but they will always disappoint. In verse 18, it says, The eyes of the Lord are upon even the weakest worshipers who love him. Those who wait in hope and expectation for the strong, steady love of God. God will deliver them from death, even the certain death of famine, with no one to help. You see, the Lord alone is our radiant hope, and we trust in him with all our hearts. His wraparound presence will strengthen us as we trust, we rejoice with an uncontained joy flowing from Yahweh. Let your love and steadfast kindness overshadow us continuously, for we trust and we wait upon you. Glory be to God. We can trust in the Lord. We can sing our praises in advance for the God that loves us beyond measure will never ever fail us and he will never forsake us. He's a far better God than we are his children. He's a far greater father than we could ever deserve. His love is beyond comprehension. We will never understand the magnitude, the magnitude of the greatness of his love. Let us rest in the hope of him. Let us rest in the love of him. Let us rest in the depths of the Holy Spirit of strength and power and might. Let us rest, let us rest in God. Glory be to the living God. Father, we will rest in you. We will continue to praise you and worship you and trust in you. We will sing praises to your name. We thank you that your hand is upon us. We thank you for the Spirit of God which dwells within us. We thank you for the Lion of Judah that walks before us. Hallelujah. I pray that that blessed you and encouraged you as it did me. Each time you listen to it, May it put a smile in your face, a joy in your spirit, and your heart. Until next time, beautiful children of God, I love you with the love of the Lord. And may God continue to strengthen you and be a blessing to you. Amen, amen, amen.